Hey guys, welcome to my first Discord bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a Discord bot using JavaScript. To get started, you're going to need to go to the Discord developer portal. When here, go to Applications and click New Application. Name it. I'll be naming mine Acorn. Now, when you're here, go to Bot. It should be on the left under Settings. And click Add Bot. Yes, do it. And we have made our bot. Next, we're going to need its client ID. This is so we can invite the bot to our server. When we have that copied, go to the Discord permissions calculator. When here, put your client ID here, and give it whatever permissions you want. The links to both of these will be in the description below. Click on the link, and we can add it to my server. After we have that done, we need two more things. We need Visual Studio Code and Node.js. Links to both of these will be in the description below. Now that you have all that done, create a folder. Uh, I don't, it doesn't really matter where, but I'm going to be putting it on my desktop. Next, open up your command prompt. When you have that open, you're going to want to get into the Discord bot folder. So, CD OneDrive cd desktop cd discord bot now that we're here we're going to want to type out npm space init npm init and this will install so for us this stuff doesn't really matter but you can change whatever you'd like now that we have that done we're going to want to install one more thing into the folder type out npm install discord.js space dash dash save what this did was download the discord.js module into our folder you can close that up now open up visual studio code now we're going to want to navigate to our folder so, since mine was on desktop, you, wherever you put yours, just navigate there and open it up. You should have a folder, two JSON files, and stuff in the folder. Now we're going to want to make a main file, index.js. That's what you should name it. This is where we start actually coding the bot. First, we're going to do something called defining. We're going to be defining token. What is a token? Well, it's essentially our passcode to the bot. I'll show you how to get that. So go back to your Discord developer portal and go back to bot. This is your bot's token. It is essentially the passcode of your bot. Go ahead and copy that. And if it does happen to get revealed, then you can just click the regenerate button. Put the token here. And now we have a few more things to define. Const of discord equals require discord.js, just like that. Now what this means is that it's going to be checking for the discord.js module. Next, define const of bot equal new discord.client. Now some people may have it be const client instead of const bot, but a great way to change this if you're following their tutorial is have const client equal bot. Now this is the part where we actually turn our bot on. Put bot dot login at and then token. Now, press save, and do control tilde while in this menu to open up your terminal. Type in node dot, and this will run your script. Go into the server that you invited your bot to. It should now be on. You can see Acorn bot is online. 
Right now our bot doesn't really do much besides turn on and off. So we're going to be putting in events. So bots dot on and then that and message. All these things right here are events the bot can look at. So when there's a channel created, when there's an error, when there's a guild update, all of that. But we're going to do message, comma, message, and then we're going to do something called an error function, which is equal, greater than, that. Now, we're going to do message, dot, channel, dot, send, and then what message you want. I'm going to put, hi, smiley face, because why not? Do no dot after saving it up. And let's test it out. Hi. Uh-oh. Looks like it repeated itself. Why is that? Because it was looking for the event of a message. And it's triggering itself. A great way we can fix this is with an if statement. So if we put if message.content.includes, and then we'll put hello. I put that there and make sure you enclose it between these two things. Now if we try that out, hello, it will say hi. But what if we tried hello with a capital? It won't say anything. And why is that? Well, it's because it's looking for undercapitalized letters, not any type of letter in the word. How can we fix this? We can define something else. Let msg equal message dot content dot to lowercase. Just like that. Next, you're going to want to replace message dot content with msg. Save that and run it again. We'll do We'll do hello, and you see it triggers. Hello in all caps, and it triggers. So now any form of hello, whether it's capital or uncapital, will run the command. Something you might see with some bots is this thing called a prefix. An easy way to add a prefix is by defining it up here. So const of prefix equal I'm going to have mine be a slash, but yours can be whatever you want. Then you go down to if message dot includes hello. In front of the hello, put prefix the variable plus hello. This will look for both the prefix and the message hello. Note dot. Slash hello. And it will run the same command. But if we do it without any, it does nothing. Now what else can we do? So we can define something called an arg. So let args equal message dot content dot substring prefix dot length dot split and then parentheses with an arrow in it. Now that we have that defined, we can use it. We put an if inside of the message or the function right here. If args1 with a bracket, sorry, that wasn't right, right there, message dot channel dot send yes. So let's try that out args will essentially be the message split. So args 0 would be hello and args 1 would be anything that we put after. So slash hello. So slash hello would say hi. But if we did slash hello hi, it'll say yes and hi. What if we only wanted to say yes? To do this, we'd need to put something in front of the message.channel.send. 
which would be return. And return, it essentially means that nothing below this line will be read. Let's try that out. Slash, hello, hi. And as you can see, it only sent one thing. So what else can we do? We can clone this and make other commands with it. So we can say, buy, and change it to anything we want. It'll, it'll just, it's, it'll work the same. So we have hello and buy now. But what if you want something unique? I'll be showing you a say command. So if message includes prefix plus say, and then instead of if args1, we'll be putting an exclamation mark in front of it. And change this to, please include what you want me to say. So instead of the quotation marks here, we'll put args dot slice, and then one, oops, dot join, and then quotation marks that. Now run that, slash say, you'll see, please include what you want me to say, say, subscribe, subscribe, which you should definitely do. The last thing I'll be showing you how to do is put a message in the console when your bot is ready, bot dot on the event of being ready, bot and then the arrow function, this thing, oops, put a comma between ready and bot. Console.log bot is up smiley face. Of course, you don't got to do a smiley face, but I encourage it. The reason we want to message.channel.send is because there is no message. This is when the bot is running. So nod space dot, you'll, you'll see that it'll log bot is up. Just a reminder to check out my Discord server, like the video, do whatever. Um, I can't control you, but if you join, I'd be happy to help and add some of your bots to the server. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, I, I plan to upload um, within less than a week, so thanks for watching.